Uh, this is the second half of the game between Legion X and Drunken Bastards. Um, Drunken Bastards will be assuming the role of Op 4 and Legion X will be played Blue 4. Um, we don't quite, quite know the score of the first round. So, we're going for the ready now. I can ask them though. Yeah, do it. They didn't really know what the score was from the first match, or they just don't want to tell for some reason. <laughs> <laughs> it was about 392 to 136 for Legion X, about something like that. Yeah, so Legion X is now leading by at least 250 points. We hope to see an interesting half this time because it seems that the first one was pretty one sided. Okay, here we go. The match is a position. The map is a position for AC tournaments. Uh, here is Sidon and Master Refuge. Now the script, as always blocks the first rush so we're gonna change roles we're gonna reload basically Very aggressive stuff here. Very aggressive. Western Western forces have actually put out a Humvee right in front of their their spawn a spawn truck, but they've taken out the machine gunner. And I think the spawn is down too. Yes, the spawn is down too. And now I think that the Eastern forces had uh, a big difference to cover from the first half, so they have to play more aggressively right now and losing the respawn truck at the beginning. Uh, puts them with the back at the wall. Still, they're managing to hold the eastern side with Blue 4 having uh, only one player at the central highway behind the helicopter. Mole, if I pronounce it right. Mole. Which is on the fire from the central building. Yeah, I'm, I'm watching the guy who fired now. It's a volley. Gets a kill. Oh, rocket misses the Humvee and destroys the back building of the central crossroads. Oh, eastern side manages to defend the first wave, but still they haven't managed to spot the player. Play with the bits. Player, they're revealing his position, and there we get a double kill, um, exchange kill, basically. I think it happens only in armor. Yeah, I think the, I think the Western strategy was uh, really aggressive. They they brought three Humvees, and um, the spawn was also positioned very aggressively. They even rushed into the harbor area to kill the, the eastern spawn right at the beginning uh, what and I, th I think yeah, go ahead yeah and, and, and I think they've actually succeeded with this but they are like uh, 
just uh, slowly closing in on the eastern eastern farm now because if on the map you have three people on the on the main highway basically holding the middle and I think they are now trying to secure anyone uh, from going back up to the eastern farm so they can just take their sweet time and oh, uh, take out the last camper. Uh, Shine is uh, pointing his smart to the response truck and it's destroyed. Now DP is in trouble. I think that the basic idea behind their rush was to try and create a balance that will give them uh, the points just to get the win from the big difference it got in the first half. Yeah, they have to put everything on one card now because they were they were behind and now they really need to push. Now there's a sole defender here, spits uh, inside this small building. And the blue four is where he's going in. He has spotted him. He's taking shots too. Two shots on him. But still he manages to score a kill on him even though he was shot two times. Play there by Spitz. Yeah, he has to heal up now. Now uh, drunken bastards manage to clear the central highway so they can make a push Wally is pushing to the center now he's trying to get from the western side into the eastern farm now there's a mistake by Spitz that loses the control of the farm and resets the, the countdown for the points and he's down oh. Good shot. Yeah, that was that was a what's this, that was Purdy with this Dushka UAZ truck. They have uh, positioned uh, four forces now, um, just south of the harbor, closing in, kind of very coordinated as it looks. Sniper backing up the UAZ. Uh, the w the western forces are positioned around the western farm. One Humvee gunner are watching uh, the, the street, and some some other guy, what's his name, Shine, is running around in a big circle now and trying to find the spawn. I think. Yes, that's what he must be doing. As uh, I said before, I think I think that. The most probable reason why Blue for now plays uh, a very defensive uh, style is because they have a big point advantage from the first round. So they're really in no hurry, and there we got a nice long range kill with the machine gun of Austin to P2. Today it was a nice day for the tournament. We managed to capture at least two matches and two halves were recorded from another two. It was a game. And we got some ex exchange of fire on the street. Um, nothing very important right now. And we got here uh, Wally trying to go for a backstop maybe. Yeah, he he thought that m maybe there's the sp the eastern spawn there, but it's but it's apparently not there. That's actually a really successful tactic right now. What you see uh, when you fall when, when you follow Wolle, he's basically trying to uh, circle around and see if there are any weak positions. If he can find, pick out any players, and oh. there he sees one actually. Great headshot there, but still, I think that he shouldn't have revealed his position yet. Yeah, it could be a tactical mistake, but the reason why you, why you do that is basically uh, this. This is not uh, really something that everyone does. Run around just at the edge of the water and oh, circle and now, around. Now he has a very good chance of destroying the respawn truck as he has the M203. First minute goes on, and he kills the driver. And now. 
Oh, there's one that's still oh, alive, don't know. Great play there, even though he got down, he managed to get a kill and destroy the respawn track of the Eastern Forces. So, 10 points for Legion X. <coughs> and and that's, the, that's, that's the basic uh, aim, aim of this tactic, to circle around and try to find weak, weak positions and, of course, take out the respawn truck. And most other teams don't count this possibility in uh, towards the middle of the game because they are really occupied with holding the zones, with uh, finding some some other good positions. And to do, to do this is basically something to uh, dis dis distract the whole tactic and try to make them reposition themselves in the whole game. So it's really important to do that like once in a while, I would say. Now, western side by Legion X has a total advantage, has all his play all their players inside the game and uh, also pushing forward, holding two zones the eastern side will have much trouble finding a way to push they even bring the respawn truck up to the hill I personally think that this is a very wrong tactic, placing the respawn truck there it delays you that much I will never get a shot of fire to the eastern side but now on RPG, Smal destroys the shotgun. What I was saying is that if you place the respawn truck up there, you have to walk such a long way you, that you don't really earn anything. Yeah, it's basically, I think there are, there are three main positions around the harbor for the east and the main shed, the big one, and also um, this other position now, what you, what you saw. I think it's it is necessary when you are behind and and because Legion X they've got the map locked down right now and what what they're trying to do is even advance further to uh, to intercept any other uh, motorcycles or s something like this so you have to um, come from uh, some 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 good cover and a uh, high ground and this is exactly what uh, you um, what you see so of course they will position the spawn somewhere up high and behind a, a mountain and try to work themselves step by step back into the game so unfortunately I would, I would say this is the, the best you could do in this situation what I would suggest right now would be even to risk to create a good a big circle to move your truck up below the western tower because right now you do exactly what the western force wants, wants to lock you at the open field at the highway but I think that this time it works since they clear the eastern farm and now they're advancing. Yeah, then the tight group here. I think there's going to be an engagement right now. Yes. Legion X defended pretty well, but there's still some, <coughs> some more on the street. They're not careful. Then DB is just going to root them out towards the middle of the of the main highway. Good shot there on the home of the gunner. That that was a double kill now. Yeah. Good play there. Teddy Brown is now making the run for the Eastern farm, they have to go in and, and start scoring the points because cover for at least 250 points. Just you really have to do some damage, and your tactic has to work out. Have you spotted where Bluefoot has placed the respawn shot? Because I haven't managed to do it yet. No, actually, I haven't noticed that. I think I just saw the respawn truck uh, behind the the last shed on the western farm. Yeah, there it is. I see. Yes. Yes. Good shot there by Lavabo, maybe. <laughs> Even though it's just coming out of the he to get a kill there. Sign also up there's P2. Yeah, they, they again just have the whole map locked down right now. They have a Oh no, now even the Humvee is coming very aggressively towards the harbor, they, they have, I think, a, a two, 
two team tactic on each zone and one player towards the middle trying to advance and cause some trouble and I think it's working really good because uh, DB is not really um, re reassessing the situation or trying to f to try some other tactic. I haven't seen anyone, as you say, circle around with a motorcycle or something. The Shilker hasn't worked either now because usually you bring the Shilker to clear out the eastern farm at least for some time. Oh, there's no big either. Yes. Nobody hasn't seen him yet. If he misses. No. That was short. <laughs> He's the dead body of the Humvee. What is he doing? Oh, when he managed to score a kill even though... And he's dead. Yeah, he had, at least he got the kill. But this sort of stuff, I think, uh, didn't really help unless the Humvee was really causing some damage. And I don't know if th that was the case. The Humvee didn't really see uh, any any of the players, I think. Yes, that's true. They lost the only player that they had for in a forward position. Now they're also trying to bring the SPG-9 launcher. What I haven't seen in any game is using the SPG-9 to clear farms with the uh, high explosivity rounds. They all use it for the rush with the anti-armor. And I think if uh, you manage to utilize that, you can just fire the rooftop and everything that's in a base is going to be killed. Now, we can just try that. Yeah, it's weird. Um, actually, our team didn't really uh, realize that this SPG Jeep had these high explosive rounds until until today, after our game, <laughs> because uh, this would actually be a good tactic, I think. Nobody has really tried it. We have tried to position this Jeep around some areas where, you, where it could be used like this. I think maybe, maybe this would be the first time we will see this right now, because P2 is advancing with the Jeep towards the west. Looks like he, he will find a good spot there. But um, Austin has been guarding this position for a long time now and I think that he heard the jeep and he's trying to spot him. If you see, he's looking uphill now. <coughs> this was a good position. He decided to move further forward. Yes, this is very dangerous to have. Um, High, 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 high ground and high um, sort of caliber machine gun, because he can he can really take out anyone from a long distance, uh, at least where he can see. Oh my God! <laughs> oh yes, that was a nice nice job there. You easy jumped in the air. Do you see that one here? Brody passed by his enemy. <laughs> oh my god, he didn't see him. He just passed right behind, right to his left, right side. Yeah, well, he got a friendly kill. <laughs> I think uh, that it's not good either. They're panicked or they're losing the last resort tactics. I don't know. <clears throat> GP25 coming out. What was this now?
they're trying to make a push, but I think that they cannot cross the center right now the way the Genex is positioned. Yeah, what would you do in in in, in their position now? I would try. We've only got Monshilka. I would try to spam to the eastern side and try to rush with some vehicle. I don't think that there would be any other tactic and maybe while spamming up a player to secure the central highway, the central street. So at least I could cut the map in two. Yeah, agreed. An RPG just missed them. Another one. Managed to score a kill on the guy. Still down buildings. Don't get up, don't get up. Hide. Which is exciting to change the fire. In a very risky position. He's picking up, I think, uh, more ammo. I can't really see where the Shilk is shooting because it's none of the rounds really land anywhere as far as I can see. I think he's trying to get um, from the higher ground a shot to lower elevation where the enemy player is. And uh, I think he managed to do it. <coughs> yes, they have, they have now cleared out at least the eastern farm. No, it's just a big target over there. And I, I can watch Shine, he's, he's got an RPG right now on the shoulder and I think he's looking to take out that, that last Shilka from DB. get a shot there. They try to advance without securing their lo location even if they're lacking the score. I don't think they can really achieve something if they don't manage to secure a position or at, at least something in the main street, the buildings or whatever. Yeah, it's, I, I think it's basically at the moment they're not very coordinated, they're sort of everyone for themselves. And if you look on the map, they're for each red dot, there's a blue dot opposing it. Yeah, that's true. So, oh, that, that was a nice grenade. So they, they really know where they are, they know what they're doing, and they're playing right into Legion X's tactic of locking down this map. And they ex know exactly how to do it, apparently. I don't really understand why the Shilka did not destroy the last building. It's the most defensive one for Legion X right now. Oh, there we get a kill. As uh, Wally has picked up uh, PKM. Yeah, but Spitz is the last one from from DB. Oh, he was the last one. Yes. So they know exactly where they are apparently. Oh, they're just oh, they're just guessing. I don't know. I believe that they have spread their forces in a way that they can uh, exclude uh, the places where enemies cannot be so they can have a good uh, communication to understand exactly where an enemy could be hiding or <coughs> another problem is that uh, while the eastern force advances all the time they have been they haven't changed their tactic, they're just moving straight for the eastern base and they can uh, put them out easily They move out of cover most of the times look at this one there yeah I was actually following him and trying to see where, where this is supposed to go but they must know that this is not gonna work if nobody has at least an eye on on somewhere uh, where people could be along the street Hiding. Oh, Wally has managed to score 20 kills, man. 20 kills in a respawn truck, I guess. Yeah, and it's obvious the way you do it is you just let them come to you. And he's basically laying on the street. And I, I wouldn't say that just you just can't do that if somebody is, is coordinating a, a real attack against the, uh, the zone because you just you don't have, you don't have any cover and you even he's even hurt. You can't even walk. 
and it still works. Yes, that's that's true. But it looks like some some DPS has managed to slip through the area here. He's got an RPG on his back, running past the eastern zone. He's also saying something that I cannot understand <laughs> about having something. Yeah, he said he had a, he had a grenade in his hand. That's why he got killed, apparently. <laughs> And again, Bola is still on the street. Injured, without able to walk to. <coughs> now it's shooting, it's shooting again, but... Was that a smile? No. Watching what he's shooting at. He's shooting at, at Flavubo because I don't, he, do, he doesn't even have an RPG anymore. He's got everything he had. And now he even wrote that he's not hitting anything, so. <laughs> <laughs> well, he's keep killing people, I guess. And this one. <laughs> Actually, this. This is a really funny match because now they're chatting and apparently <laughs> P2, one one of the DB players is is drunk <laughs> and he's playing for the for match. <laughs> At least he's having fun losing, I guess. <laughs> <laughs> but this was a really solver shot here from from Shine. Coordinated attack. Letting nothing slip through the lines here. They've got the western zone secured for ages now. The eastern zone, I think they're just neglecting it at the moment. Because I can't explain any other reason for abandoning the eastern zone. They're just going for the kills, I guess. <laughs> yeah, I mean, at the, at the western farm, far out west, there's still Austin watching the west, you know. I mean, I think they're really uh, afraid that something might come from from this from this flank. So, they w as long as as this is um, secured, and they're p they're probably pretty confident to just run across the street and have exchanges of fire there. Which the shulk is shooting at? Just destroying whatever you can do. <laughs> Yes, at last they killed him. <laughs> <coughs> Yo, that, that was a nice picture. He just... Flavubu had him aimed right down the Shilka and and then he got killed right by the Shilka. Just one more second, maybe he would have got uh, gotten off the RPG. Austin pushes far to the west now he's falling back for some reason he repositioned himself <coughs> here comes the GG I think it must be about one minute Yeah, well, so far this this was not a very solid showing from DB. I would I would say this is uh, kind of disappointing because it was it was a promising start. I expected much from them anyway. I, from what I think, they have people that can play um, good. Let's put it that way. Yeah, actually, I would say that they do, but. One man alone can't uh, save you your whole game, you know? You have to be coordinated. Yes. And especially in these maps that have the only problem I can find, I personally, is that they're not forgiving. If you mess at the beginning, you you get a 30 minutes of pain <laughs> most of times. Yeah, this is exactly what they got, so... 
Not a big surprise there. Only managed to score 24 kills with 7 deaths. I think this is a record for the tournament right now. <coughs> Could be, yeah. What I've seen, I guess, yes. And I think that up to this match there is another one on Thursday, I guess. And this uh, will conclude the second fight. And the loser bracket matches will start and for the good, the best teams all the time they'll come to compete. Yeah, I think um, the first rounds are just about finishing up now, right? Um, yes, there are, I think, uh, two matches to be played or one. I'm not quite sure. I think it's one between Stroybet and um, who are the other guys but from CSAA. Now I'm going to ask some questions about your team. Um, first of all, I want to ask you what do you think it takes a team to have to be, let's say, good to perform well? Just good or very good? <laughs> Just good. Uh, well, it, it depends on uh, if you play maps like this, then I think you need to have uh, a strong leader, first of all, who can manage the whole situation even when it's uh, not going very good because every team has of course a, a good tactic maybe and every player is a good player but uh, sometimes it just doesn't go that way you want you, you planned it and then you just need to reassess and reorganize your whole team and mostly um, at least in our team this is done by Q because he um, he sort of stands back uh, one step, sort of, and uh, looks at the map and organizes the people, uh, sometimes directs uh, what to do in certain situations, um, because sometimes you get lost in the game and you just don't know uh, what to do, you're just angry and why am I dying like three times in a row and you just want to take this stupid camp out, maybe, you know, uh, I guess a lot of people have this feeling, sort of, and... Uh, this is this is this may be uh, good for the ego, but it's not good for the team, not good for the match, and so you need a, a really good leader who can just stay calm, look at it, the situation ob objectively, and then work out uh, Plan B, sort of, and say, okay, let's just not deal with this at the moment. The most more important parts are the ones that everyone is overlooking. So uh, I would say a, a good team leader, and then the players. You just have to be who is good at what. Some some people are really like to rush and look for the engagement. Um, those people you wouldn't uh, put on holding the zones for a long time, you know, because they just get bored and maybe they also do a good job, but they are better in other situations. So a, a good team um, would at least have all these all these qualities: a good leader and people who are motivated to play a lot and who like to play. And finally, another question. Do you think there's a chance for Arma to be improved as an eSport? <laughs> yeah, well, you, you're doing a really good job at it, I think. Uh, this is a good first step. Um, those, those sort of things with uh, commentary and um, a sort of a, a, a group channel where people can come together and um, discuss the matches and work on the maps and put in, put in their suggestions for the next league and for the next tournaments. Um, and have a, a grown-up community that is supported by the developers also in some aspects. Um, I think the last one is missing. The developers are sort of focusing on military realism, and I think, okay, that's that's the way of doing it, but you don't have um, those good scripts and those uh, one map which everyone knows and standard tactics are developed for it. You always have different maps. Uh, so it has a potential, I would say, um, very, very, very good players, very, very good map makers, modders, you know, you know, just so many sites where people can download thousands of mods and play real life, armor to real life stuff. Uh, so the potential is there, but it, the people need to be interested in it and they, keep to, they, they need to keep coming and support the leagues, support the, the games, watch the videos, comment on the videos, and uh, if this keeps going, uh, which you're doing, I think, a really good job on, then I think uh, we, we have a real good chance to at least 
uh, make a big change in Armor 3 where people will get to know a new game, a better engine, hopefully, and better graphics, and I would say hopefully also a better ASC tournament. First of all, I want to thank you for your words. And um, my personal idea is that the community that keeps every game alive, it's the community that plays uh, PvP games, no matter what game you choose. And uh, this is what keeps a game alive after years and gives m more potentials for um, expansions or whatever. Anyways. Yeah, I would totally agree. Well, uh, thank you for this one. Um, I think we should uh, try to arrange sometime a bigger interview uh, by you and basically whoever wants to represent your team. Yeah, why not? We, we could do that with um, most of the players um, who advance to the second round, or at least like the third round, maybe the semi-finals and finals, get some comments on um, where they come from, what they think about the league, how to improve it, and uh, what they look forward to, because I think this is also something that contributes to the whole scene, to the leagues, and to, 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 to the whole experience of the game. You just don't play for yourself and your own team. People get to know each other and get to grow, you know. Yes, and get along together because we're all playing a game that you have no earn, absolutely nothing. You just play to have fun. I don't know how much, uh, every, how think, how do people think of, of winning? Personally, I think you of, co you of course play to win, but the general idea is to have fun. And when you play in a tournament that you're not going to earn anything at all, you know, you have to be a good sportsmanship behavior, that's all. Yeah, now my, my armor crashed, so I think, <laughs> yeah, like I, think uh, I have to wrap on this your up. Game, it crashed like two times, so that's why I was rejoining all the time. Anyway, well, thank you for this. Um, I'll see you next time, because my girlfriend is going to kill me now. <laughs>